Hello, good day and good afternoon. This is Paulina Medina coming to you from Sayada. We appreciate your recent purchase of a SD7. These are the tips and tricks on how to successfully activate your SD7 on the Verizon Push to Talk portal. Log into your Verizon My Business portal and from the landing page click on Manage at the top, Product Portals, and then View All. That'll take you to the product tools landing page and in here you want to look for the push to talk plus tile. Click on go. That'll take you into the push to talk portal. In the push to talk portal you'll only see the contacts that actually have the push to talk feature code on the line of service. If you're not seeing your line in here then that means the feature code is not added or maybe out of sync. So the quick fix is just to remove the feature and then add it back in and hopefully it should appear. The two devices that we're going to set up today are Paulino Sayada Test 1 and 2. Quickly just expand one of those to show you a little bit more information. Um, LMR client mode is turned off and there's no talk groups assigned currently. So that's how a device is going to show up. If you were to boot up the device right now you would not see any talk groups. So First things first is we want to create talk group. So I'll select my two users that I want to configure and say create enterprise talk group. I'm going to call it demo test. And the type is going to be a standard. If you click on this question mark, it'll show you the five different talk groups that are configurable. Standard is the most common and widely used. So we'll select standard and then submit. See that the group was successfully created. Now we want to update the LMR client mode and toggle that to on. That's the only way the SD7 is going to function is in LMR client mode. And again, we'll select the two devices and do a bulk client mode enable. That button is also for disable, but it also does do an enable. And if you're doing it for two devices or 100 devices, do the bulk. All right, and we can go in and check one just to show that it did toggle it on. Now you can see that the LMR client mode is toggled on, but we still have, have to assign the channels to the group. That demo test was also assigned to the device, but there's no channel, no priority. so you're still not going to see the talk groups on the device. So again, we'll do a bulk update to assign the channel and the priority. And that's under Actions, under Groups, click on Bulk Assign Enterprise Groups. And then in here, you can do Demo Test, Zone 1, Channel 1, Priority 1. And I can add additional lines below this if I want to do two or three talk groups all at one time. For the sake of this demo, we're just going to do the one. And then it obviously it's the two users, test one and test two, that we're assigning it to. And then hit submit. This could take some time if you're doing it for, you know, 100 devices. It may take, you know, about a minute to submit and get this confirmation. So now that I have the confirmation, I can expand again. Look under included. LMR client mode is toggled on and now the channel and the priority are both assigned. All right. These are just kind of the highlights of what we discussed earlier. Um, ensure that the PTT feature is on the line of service. Um, if it's not, remove it and add it back in. Sometimes it could fall out of sync between the Verizon portal and the Motorola push to talk portal. When powering on the device, ensure that you are in a good 4G connectivity area and have strong signal. If you have no 4G icon with bars, check to make sure the SIM card is seated properly and restart the device. So at first boot up, the activation process will take about 5 to 10 minutes for the device to pull down the Push to Talk Plus application over the cloud. And you should see a message stating communicating with cloud or checking updates. The only user interaction that, that you have to do is activate the push to talk when it prompts you. So after the download, you'll see a display that says activate.
push to talk and all you need to do is click on the rotary knob that's on top click it in and say yes and then once booted up if you get a standard mode not supported message you probably need to repeat the previous steps that we just talked about in this video to ensure that the LMR client mode is toggled on for your device if you have any questions or need further assistance please reach out to myself or Nick Yeager. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you. Have a great day.